Last fall, I had the idea to journey to the Kaibab National Forest to take self-portraits with my yellow hula hoop. This is that story. Hi, uh, can I have a cheeseburger Happy Meal? Can you add mac sauce to that? Yeah, thank you. I got my McDonald's. Yay! <laughs> Say that for later. So, I'm not gonna look at the camera because I am driving. I am on my way to the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Very excited. I'm uh, solo camping this weekend. It is October 5th or 6th, I don't know. And I'm hoping to catch some yellow aspen and other fall colors going up there. Pretty excited. It's my second time camping alone over Labor Day weekend. I went over to the Apache National Forest and I tried to film the whole thing. I'm at a red light, all right, I can look. I tried to film that and it just didn't work out. It wasn't in the cards for me. It was more so time to like go inside and just really be with myself out in nature. And it was terrifying, but also really, really addicting and fun. Terrifying just being out there all by yourself and no means of protection, which is kind of what's going on this time too. I don't know that I'll share, get any video driving today, but the last time I came out camping in the Grand Canyon, I was with Riley and he was driving and I captured some of the video or I was able to capture a video throughout the whole drive and just watching the terrain change from like desert to like high desert to pines to just everything was just so different and it was super beautiful. And I am just so excited to be out in nature. Well, the place I'm parked at right now for the night kind of stinks. I don't even think I want to set up the tent. Probably just going to sleep in the car and then head out in the morning. It's so crowded. Like, so crowded. I went to two different areas that I thought about going to and completely scratched up my car going down different roads I wasn't supposed to go down and uh, kept going down the second spot and uh, just so many people at like every single turn off even the one that was like at the end that I thought oh maybe no one will be here completely covered with people so I guess this is it I haven't slept in my car before but I think I'd much rather do that than try to set up somewhere or maybe just continue driving at night I don't know it's kind of difficult to see where I can go so it's like should I just wait until 5 30 or 6 in the morning and then go a little disappointed don't really know how I want to spend the rest of my evening maybe I'll hoop a little bit and I'll feel better but yeah yeah it's so freaking crowded I don't know what I expected <laughs> perhaps when I go to that last spot it'll be fine and yeah yeah yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what I want to do. It's not even 8 o'clock yet, but the spot is not worth a tent. Not even worth the lights. I guess I'll just get a headlamp on and make this inside comfortable. Okay, it is morning, and I am uh, parked at a trailhead. I don't even know. Arizona Trail Trailhead on the East Rim, and I'm just going to go walk it to go see the views. The sun has just peaked up. It's like lighting everything up. It is so beautiful. The aspen are super yellow. It's like almost peak time. Some of the leaves has fallen, but some are still green. So I don't know. It's a, it's a good time to be here. Last night I slept in the car. I slept in the seat until about like midnight and uh, it was not comfortable. So I crawled back here and like didn't even move my stuff, just like slept right on top of it. Had my sleeping bag out, so I was like super comfortable. Yeah, it looks so nice out here in the daylight. I am a little disappointed that I couldn't camp on the rim, but it's really, like the ground's really saturated here. So I don't mind moving, you know, to a new location to see if it's not gonna be wet. I mean, if it is, I'll probably just sleep in my car again now that I know, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to go walk out to, let's, I don't know, see some views and then drive on the western side of 67 and just probably set up camping there because it is packed here. Like every single spot along this forest road is completely taken, which I guess makes sense. Um, this weekend is Columbus Day and some people get that off. I don't. I work all the time. I definitely do not have that day off, but yeah, let's go check it out. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my goodness. It is icy out here, but the views look so good. The camera's not capturing it that great, but I don't know that I'll hang out here that long. It's like 30 something degrees. It's so cold. Oh, it looks so nice. It's beautiful because it's fall. And so I got all the fall colors too. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just drove for like an hour and a half or so, somewhere around there, from the other side of 67 to, oh, I cannot pronounce this, Paris Swampits, Paris Swampits, Paris Swampits. I don't know. <laughs> P point. So, there are several points that you can go to that overlook the north rim of the Grand Canyon. And I've camped by Locust Point, but I wanted to check out this P point just because I hadn't seen it before. So I drove all the way here. I'm parked in the lot, about to walk out, and we'll just see the nice view. I, I don't know that I'm going to find camping out this way. I would really prefer to be near Aspen that are yellow because that's the whole, I guess that's the picture that I really want to get is like wearing the yellow dress with the hoops in the Aspen. So I may just like after going out to the point and checking out this beautiful view that I'm sure it is, may just go back, head back uh, towards 67 and try to pull off down a side forest road that looks like there may be some available camping. I don't know. This is quite the experience. <laughs> I think driving around is fun too. I'm glad I have enough gas for this, but yeah, let's go check out Paris Wampitz Point. I think I said that right. <laughs> I don't know if this is really the P point, but man, this view. Wow. It's so cool. My head's in the way. Look at that. Even with an iPhone, <laughs> it still looks pretty cool. I found a pretty cool spot for a photo. Looks good. Got my yellow dress I'm gonna change into. A couple cars I've drive, but, driven by, but it's not too big of a deal, actually. <laughs> One truck stopped by while I was braiding my hair inside the car, and he like, as I exited the car, he's like, hey, are you okay? I was like, yeah, it was very friendly of him, but I'm like, <laughs> I guess it is kind of strange to see a sedan just pulled over on the side of this dirt road. <laughs> anyway, very excited to do the photo. So I just pulled off the side of one of the main forest roads and no one's around. So I think I'm just going to set up camp here. I was thinking in my head like, oh, I could just drive back, like whatever, you know, this day is what it is. But I'm already out here. It's like a six and a half or with all this freaking driving I've done, it's like a seven hour drive. So I shouldn't do that. I should enjoy the nature. There are some Aspen nearby. I mean, the photos I got earlier were like so, so. I just don't think that I'm going to get any. I'm still in the freaking yellow dress. I got these earrings on. Look at this. But whatever. I'll just set up here and hang out. I guess maybe read a little bit. I don't know. I think I'll probably sleep in my car again, but situate myself a little bit better where that's going to be easier. But I don't really feel like setting up the tent and dealing with that whole jazz. Car sleeping was fine. So yeah, I guess this is what we're going to do. Yay! <laughs> Why am I 
I so washed out? Oh well. I'm debating whether or not I want to set up the string lights right now because I'm going to be sleeping in the car anyway. So it's like, what does it matter? <sighs> I guess I won't, but if I feel like it later, I will. But otherwise, I got the hammock over here. I got a table and a chair over there. I'm hungry. I'm going to make some food and then probably just read and hang out. It's going to be good. <laughs> I didn't eat dinner yesterday, so I'm pretty hungry. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's like Larry David. <laughs> so, I still think I might go home today. I don't know what it is, but my myself was telling me, like, you know, you know, you got to be out here. You got to see the Grand Canyon get some aspen you know you're in nature now so I think I'm gonna hang out for a few hours but still make that drive back like I'd rather have all of Sunday home than out here and try to like get myself together it's Sunday after driving for six and a half hours or so so yeah I mean I'm still gonna hang out for a bit you know enjoy myself but yeah it's so odd this is the second time now I mean a couple weeks ago I was at a festival with my friends and it was a three-day festival, one up there Friday, and then on Sunday morning, I woke up, and I was just kind of ready to go, <laughs> so I left the festival a whole day early, just packed up all my stuff and drove off it that morning. I mean, there was a bunch of traffic, too, and I'm remembering that and don't really want to deal with all that traffic on Sunday, so yeah, might as well just do what I'm feeling called to do, which is leave a little bit early, like I got to be out here check off you know the camping for October because I'm trying to go at least once a month and now you know check that's done it's interesting it's interesting that I feel this way but I'm not upset that I feel this way just based on how everything has gone and it's just so busy and there's a lot of people and it's hard to get like a nice spot whatever my head was thinking but I'm definitely enjoying myself it's a really nice time I just think I'd rather <laughs> try back tonight Huh, kind of interesting. All right, time to eat. Oh my goodness. I just did so much hula hooping. I read a little bit of the book and I hooped a bunch, got some videos, very happy with those. And now I think I'm gonna change into the yellow dress and try to get some photos. And then I think I'm gonna head out. I think I've, maybe I'll read, try to finish reading the book and then go. But yeah, like it's been pretty fun. I love hanging out up here and I'm so happy that it's fall and I got to see all the beautiful yellow leaves 
honestly, those trees down there were like calling my name. I kept looking over there and seeing them just like glisten in the sun, so bright and vibrant and yellow. And I'm like, gosh, it's like the perfect backdrop for some hooping and for some photos. So ready to take the pics and then start that six hour trek back home. Wow, that was so fun. I really like the stress. It's, uh, it looks good. I'm excited to edit those, you know, months from now, by the time I get to it, I have so many unedited photos <laughs> that I need to go through. I just uh, am prioritizing other things right now. But yeah, oh my gosh, that was so much fun. I'm glad I stopped here and I'm so ready to go home and see my cat. <sighs> and at this rate, I'll make it home before probably like 10 p.m. So that's not even that bad. Wow, this is so fun. Oh my gosh, this dress, it really like moves. <laughs> super fun, super duper fun. Uh, yeah, time to clean up and go. Woo, thank you for joining. It was quite the time. By the time I show this photo, I'm sure I'll have gone through the photos, so I'll share how they went. Maybe here, maybe there, who knows? Uh, yeah, so <laughs> maybe next time I feel camp film a camping adventure, it'll be longer than just one day and I'll stay not in my car, but today is just not it. I'm listening to my body, listening to my, just how I'm feeling and it's feeling like go home, sleep in a bed. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs>